Hey there friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Brutus Monroe video. Today we're going to be using this really fun Gingerbread Lane stamp set. And I just love those little images. They're so fun and intricate. They would be a lot of fun to color, but I'm going to show you a super easy way to make some gift tags. We're going to be using this embossing powder. This one is called Christmas Eve. And then, no, this one's Christmas Day. And then here is our Christmas Eve embossing powder. These are so beautiful. And so we're going to do the, use the two of those along with these, um, this really cool stamp set. So I just have some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock that I'm putting into my Misty. This way I can stamp out lots of images. I ended up stamping these about 12 times total. I'm not going to show you all of that, but what we're going to do is I'm going to use my magic powder bag. I'm going to sweep away any of the excess powder and then we're going to use our embossing ink and we're going to ink up each of our images. I'm trying to make sure that I have good coverage so I did make sure that my pad was nice and juicy and then I'll stamp that down and then here's where I will grab that Christmas Day embossing powder. This is a beautiful green color and it has little bits of red glitter in it so it sticks to the embossing powder and then once it's all heated and melted, you'll see this beautiful like little flecks of red glitter in there and it's just super fun. So I'm gonna heat that till that is smooth and melted. And then I'm gonna stamp it one more time. And so I'll have six of each of these or six total images in the green. And we're gonna do it again, going through that same process of magic powder bag, sweep away any of the excess and then cover those with some embossing ink. And each of these pieces of cardstock, I actually trimmed down to five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and I was able to get six on each sheet of paper. And here I'm gonna cover this one with our Christmas Eve. And I shook it up really good just to make sure that the gold glitter in this one would get distributed evenly. So it's a red, beautiful red embossing powder with gold glitter. And these are intricate images, and as you can tell, it did a wonderful job of inking and, and um, not inking, but covering and embossing really beautifully. So check it out. You see nice little flecks of gold in there and I just love how pretty that looks. The next thing I'll do is I will fussy cut out each of these images. They're actually pretty easy to fussy cut. I'm not going real crazy around each of the little intricate areas, just leaving a little white border around all of them. And I'll do that with all 12. I'm only gonna make six tags, so three of each. And what I'm doing now is cutting down white cardstock to be about three and a half inches by three and a half inches because I am going to use one of the circle foundation dies to cut this out. But first I want to emboss a background. So what I did is I took that square, I covered it with embossing ink, made sure I got every inch of it, and then now I am covering that with the embossing powder. And then I'm going to heat set that till that is smooth and melted. So I highly recommend that if this is something you want to do, you don't leave it in long strips, you do cut it down to the size that you need it. It'll just make it that much easier to manage and to deal with, and then you may not have uh, any, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but any residual um, ink. Like sometimes it'll leave like an overlap effect. So this is what I highly recommend is just cutting it down to the size you need and then doing that. So I did three of those and now I'm going to do three of the Christmas Eve. So I'll do the same thing with that. Just cover that with that embossing ink. You don't need a magic powder bag because the whole point is you want to cover the entire thing. So that's all I'm doing is covering the whole thing and then I'll heat set that until that one is smooth and melted. And I just love the little flecks of the glitter that are in here. It's just so original, so different, and it does give that little effect of Christmas. So, I, and of course I love watching the embossing powder melt. But this is just a fun way to use your embossing powders, and also just a really easy way to make some tags. So I'm going to cut this out using that circle die that I talked about. I'll cut out all six of them using that one, run that through my die cutting machine. And then I also cut out six white discs as well. Those are going to go on the back. So this is what the red one looks like. This is Christmas Eve and here is Christmas Day. Aren't those just beautiful? They look even more pretty in like a solid pattern. So that's gonna be my back. Like I said, I cut out some white ones because the backs of these got a little bit messed up. And because these are supposed to be tags, I wanted them to be fairly clean. I'm gonna take some Baker's twine that I went ahead and cut out, and I'm just gonna tack it down with a little bit of washi tape. That's just to hold it in place while I glue things on. It's probably not necessary, but I just figured this would make sure to keep that uh, Baker's twine from moving anywhere. 
Now, if you've watched me at all, you know that when I do make Christmas tags, I like them to be ornaments as well. So uh, this is one of those situations where you could have these made and they could easily be Christmas ornaments if you wanted them to be or they're simple enough that you're not going to feel super terrible if the recipient decides to throw it in the garbage. <laughs> so that's sometimes my issue is once you've put in all this effort for something and then it just gets kind of thrown out. Uh, but here is one of those where you're just not going to feel quite as bad if it does because these really just didn't take any time. So there we have a green one and I'm going to go ahead and do that with all the red ones. And here you'll see how beautiful those turned out. Nice, fun, easy tags. And I have a couple of each. So in red and in green, and I just love how they are. So if you liked this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you very soon in another video. Bye everybody.